Hello world, my name is Ben, this is AnyLogic 101, a video series where I explore quick tips and tricks I learned in AnyLogic over many years. Today I want to talk about the difference between on exit and on at exit. So let's see what I'm talking about. So in many process blocks like this delay block, we have these code fields, very useful, very powerful. Code in here is executed when agents flow through this block at particular points. So this one on enter code is executed if an agent enters the block. Fair enough. However, some blocks have an on exit code blocks and also an on at exit code block. And it's a very subtle difference that can completely destroy your model if you're not aware of it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I've built a very simple model here um, where I, a source object is creating my agent agents. And my agent is very simple, nothing in there except a little variable boolean called go upper sync, which is set to false normally. So the agents flow through this delay block, nothing is happening. And then I have a select output, a kind of switch where I send agents to an upper sync or a lower sync. And the decision is defined by the agents go upper sync. So by default, go upper sync is false, so agents should all go to the lower sync. And if we run the model, that's exactly what we observe. All agents always go to the lower sync. Now, what you could do is in your model, at some point you wanna change some of the agent characteristics and make sure that the condition picks that up. So what many people tend to do is they think, um, well, my agent, when they go through the delay, the characteristic has changed. So I'm saying agent.go upper sync is now actually true. So every agent should go through the upper branch now. And that's a very common mistake many people make because the agents still go to the lower sync. They still see that the variable is false. So people think, well, what's going on? Does it not work? Is the variable not set to true actually? It is, but it's done in the wrong place. So instead, if we actually move this code to the on at exit block, sorry about that little error there, um, and see what happens now. So uh, in this case, our agents actually leave via the upper port, via the upper sink. So now this select output seems to see that the variable has been set to true. So what's going on? The difference, that subtle difference here is when the code is actually executed. So on at exit is executed while the agent is still inside the block, just about to leave, but he's still in the block. So the code is executed and only then does he leave the block. And as soon as he leaves the block, the way these libraries are set up is they immediately jump to the next block. And this block immediately checks the condition. So if you do it and on at exit, everything is fine. The agent is in the block. The agent is in the block. Then the variables changed while he's still in the block, but just about to leave. Variables change, leaves the block. Then the condition is checked. The condition is true. So everything is as, as it should be. However, if you put the code in the on exit block, the agent comes to the end of the block, the delay block, leaves the block, then is actually instantaneously jumping to the next block, which is the select output. It checks the condition, but the condition is still false because the on exit code has not actually been executed. The on exit code is only executed when the block goes to a, a, a subsequent block. And the select output block is a block where agents just pass through. They don't actually spend any time in there. So that's the subtle difference. So this is also visible in the uh, AnyLogic help. If you look for the delay block, um, you know, if you ever forget about this lesson, just go into the help. It does tell you about the difference. So there's on exit code, code executed when the delay ends and the agent is ready to exit the block, but it's still in there. And on exit is code executed when it exits the block. So the simple heuristic to remember, the heuristic I typically work by as well, because this is a special case, but obviously it can wreck your model. The simple heuristic is 
to simply use on exit if there is only on exit available and no on on add exit but as soon as you have the option between both it's typically in 99 percent of the cases better to use on add exit because you avoid this complication good i hope that was helpful see you soon